Well, hello everyone, it's Liam Carlson here as we are jumping through another few episodes of My Hero Academia with episodes 19 to 21 of season 5. Um, so four episodes left to go uh, once we do go through these few, uh, three episodes, which, um, you know, I'm excited to see how things will play out, especially since things are getting very juicy um, with the Meta Liberation Army uh, in particular. Um, but um, yeah. I mean, I've really enjoyed season five so much, probably more so than season four. And I don't know, you know, why I feel like, you know, with everything that's been going on with the season, I felt like I have really um, felt like this season has flourished um, so much. Um, but it has been a season that has been very enjoyable. And, uh, you know, as we are narrowing things down, uh, it should be very interesting. Of course, there was a lot of emotion um, last time during my venture through My Hero academia as of course we were keeping up with the Todorokis I guess um but it was yeah pretty big stuff in regards to uh, the Todoroki family uh with uh, especially uh, episode 17 and episode 18 episode 16 was primarily a filler but um yeah it was very very impactful stuff so uh but very thrilling but also like I said very emotional so yeah um with that said though why don't we get into the first of three episodes it's episode number 19 of season 5 for My Hero Academia. Let's go. There were just three months left. My classmates, a happy new year to you all. Yes, hey. happy new year, everyone. Today's class will consist of a practical briefing. We'll each share our accomplishments, challenges, and Yeah, I thought this thing would have gone on a bit longer, so to be fair. Heck yeah, that's the only way to live. I take there you back. go. He's like a bike where the chain keeps coming off. <laughs> <laughs> the motorcycle, I mean, with his engines and all. Yeah, I feel like that's more apt. It's not what you think, Ashido! <laughs> it's really not. Ashido's biggest shipper at the minute. I'm just, um, keeping it close for now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Keeping it safe. No! Midoriya! Bakugo! What's your oh, problem, no. stupid? Oh, God. Oh, oh boy. Bakugo's Basically, trying to kill it. What the heck? Make my body move as fast as my brain. Did here. he just try to kill him? Um, what's going on? Cause prison Mike's on edge. During the fight at the USJ, he didn't act like he would have if he were. Hello. These no, we skipped our classes to come here. So let's get to the point, shall we? Aizawa, calm down, bro. When present Mike is telling you to calm down, this shit is serious. Turns out it belonged to a kid you were quite familiar with in your UA days. A young what? boy who lost his life way too soon while working what? to save others. Wait, that's Kirigu- We found out that this base quirk is a very close match to Obro Shirakumo's. And they knew him. They knew Kiriguri. Holy fuck! Holy shit! We'll always have his back. You know what I'm always saying. Shota's got an eye for detail. No pun intended. He's a she's a master at negotiating. This is kind Let's of like the agency. big three so with Aizawa. Yeah. Sure, but no Present Mike money, gives yeah. Mirio. They're one second and gone the next. Holy shit. He dreamed of the three of us starting an agency. And that dream... He died right after sharing those plans with us. Yeah, oh, that's heartbreak. Right now, we've got him sedated. Because if we don't, he'll try to use his quirk. You still haven't explained why Zawa is in pure shock, you understandably. Think will lead to a miracle? We've been watching too many movies. Miracles do happen, and they often lead to possibilities. It's worth a shot, but... It's an emotional hit. To talk could be a major break in the case. Holy shit. Present Mike, the racer head. I want you and to now they're reunited. Mind. Oh. Holy shit, what is this episode? That's this is deep sh this this is deep. I'm not the type to neglect a friend. Oh no. 
Oh. Yeah, he's so different. Deets are gonna fill up. Come on. I'll lend you my goggles. They'll hide and protect it's your sad. eyes. So you can get in close. <laughs> Check it out. Now we match. Oh. You acted on instinct. I overthought. But you this is so along. heartbreaking. Then I'll re-enroll them. That way they know what's at stake and they'll strive to reach even higher. Oh, damn. I urge you to authorize it, sir. Hmm. It's that great at the... the oh, he... So my friend left it all. Hey, he's glitching. The three of us. We can still do it. We can be heroes. Just for one day. And behind this glass. It doesn't matter. Nothing will ever bring him back. He's, he still He'd died. The person I knew. He still died that Tell day. Me, the Answer the question, Shirakumo. We're trying to bring him. The three of us were in class two A together at UA High School. Deep down, you sure do. Doctor of Tomura Shigaraki. There we go. There's no hope. Nothing you're saying makes any sense to me. Oh? Shirakumo Hospital. Hey! To give that the Kuriguri has to keep that reminder. Present Mike. That's enough. What's the point of creating such monsters? I don't know why you people refuse to understand. It's like making a fine wine. To get the juice, one must trample the grapes. Jeez. And all I really want is to continue... I'm the number two guy, after all. Impressive. You're no big deal, man. I'm gonna go grab a drink real quick. You want anything? Black coffee. With lots of milk and tons of sugar. <laughs> oh, <got it. laughs> Hospital. I have sought all this time my masterpiece. Excellent Tomura Shigaraki. Oh, shit. Better than I ever imagined. <laughs> Locked. Okay, that was an emotional episode. <laughs> Definitely. Um, yeah, I was not expecting... I was not expecting a deep episode with... Um, Aizawa, present Mike as well, and of course the recollection of what happened to, uh, yeah, their friend. So it's just really, really sad. Really, uh, just. I mean, to be fair, when present Mike, um. Yeah, when President Mike got serious, you know, you know it, it it go be serious, right? So when, yeah, when when we talked about the prospect of Shirakumu, and you know how Aizawa and President Mike, because I think there's been a precedence in regards to Aizawa and and President Mike. You know, they, they grew up in UA together, but I don't think we've gotten an idea about Shirakumu. Um, ultimately, because he was he, he later became uh, Kiriguri, uh, Kiriguri, so a whole Darth Vader aspect. Like, Anakin is gone. I am what remains. So, and that's literally it. So, um... Except for the fact that Anakin was still alive when he got turned into Vader. Shirakumu was dead. And they fucking operated on him to make him... A, yeah. It's fucked. Like, especially since they were going to create him as well. But they were like, you know what, let's, let's do a little swapsy. So... Oy. And... it's It's just really heartbreaking. So... Um, obviously they were trying to get, they, they, they were trying to get some information, but yeah.
I have to say, Aizawa broke my heart, though. I mean, the, you, I mean, the acting was just absolutely flawless. Because obviously, when you've ventured with Aizawa for so long, you kind of get a bit of an idea of what his character's like. This was a very emotional episode where they not just reflected on their childhood and how, you know, oh, um, you know, we we could all be heroes and all of that. They had they had big dreams, and sadly, that came to a halt with. Uh, for for Shirokumu. but it, it 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 it's just the fact that even though I mean to be fair, Aizawa when he confronted Kirigiri at the USJ didn't know that that was his friend. Now that he knows, it's just like did you not did you not feel anything when we fought and all of that? But more so, it it, it hits like a ton of bricks. With the three of them being reunited for the first time since prior, um, I mean, I would say prior Shirakumu's death, but they were, yeah, in terms of living embodiment. So, you know, it it just gets more fucked with all for one. Like they got his corpse, turned him into Kiriguri, and it's just. Yeah, it's just fucked. So, but I did really, really love this episode. It was very, very powerful stuff. We got a bit of an idea on Kiriguri. Um, but not just that, though, but it was very emotional with the fact that you had present Mike, you had Aizawa try to get... Because Kir that's it, Kiriguri was not... was was He was resisting so much. And, you know, his mind's going to be tampered with to... Uh, ensure there is no Jekyll Hyde situation, I guess, uh, with 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 uh, Shirokumu breaking free. Um, but this one hits. Uh, this this one packs so much emotion that it inevitably, like only for a brief few seconds. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah. So it was just really, really powerful. But I also really loved how, um, you know, post obviously, um, when when you know Aizawa was a teacher, he had that mantra to expel, then re-enroll them as a lesson to value their lives and all of that. And um, yeah, just with the fact that he wanted to. You know, teach them to hold on and, you know, don't die. Don't just needlessly die. So that was just very, very, you know, because you, you, you could tell at that moment he was thinking it, like his friend left a big, big um, impact on his on his. And, and you can't blame him. I mean, especially when you consider as well the fact that Aizawa more closed off emotionally, right? And then he gets connected with Shurakumu and gone. He's gone. He's completely gone. That's got to be absolutely heartbreaking. So, yeah. But I really enjoyed this episode. It was just, <sighs> yeah. It was just absolutely sad, really. It it yeah it was it was just sad and then you know you know prying away from the whole uh, Kiriguri situation yeah um you know that final scene of you know Shigaraki eesh, daunting but yeah it was just very heartbreaking and yeah and you know it's very interesting because like i said i don't think we got anything to indicate you know they they were with another person because i think we got an idea that present mike and aizawa like i said they 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 rose up together but not sure sure and not just that but they made it they 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 we we barely knew who he was and it, yeah it's still it still hit like a ton of bricks so yeah
Fucking all for one man. He's an absolute twat. He's a he's a twat. Like death is not like that's it though. He can't let him rest in peace whatsoever. So yeah. What's what's interesting though is I never really connected the dots as well in regards to Kiriguri being a being a Nomu. So, you know, this is like, oh sh okay. Um, it kind of makes sense, though, I guess, with the high end and uh, no, that that we got a bit more information about as well. Um, but I guess you know there have been a few exceptions, like the high end Nomu, in terms of the evolution of the Nomu. So, um, so I guess it does make sense about how the whole Kiriguri is a Nomu. It flies over your head because I don't think there's been a precedence, really. Because we've seen what the gnome, what the base Nomu is like, I guess. Um, so when you think back to season one and all of that. But, you know, we have tampered more and more with... Uh, and I guess that's an apt word given, yeah... We have tampered more with the evolution of the Nomus, and yeah, so. <sighs> yeah, that was. Yeah. I will say, though, when I when President Mike said to Aizawa, are your eyes okay? They're just dry. They're just a little dry. I was thinking of that meme, it's a terrible day for rain. Um. But I was just embracing the emotion as well because it was, you just felt so, so bad for Aizawa. And you wanted to give the guy a hug. So, Four. come on, man, let's go for the next episode. I will retrieve that power for you. Jeez, and make him more dominable, more terrifying, and. We saw what happened to Daka City, I think it was. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Left by all for one? I'm not impressed. This is the big one. This is. Literally the big one. <laughs> but, you know, Sh Shigaraki has a lot of confidence. Fan, this giant even used to work as his bodyguard. He's got incredible stamina and resilience, and with that body, he can handle. If you want to make it, you gotta be Gigantomachia. A few years after the master took you in, and after he doesn't quite measure up to all for one. So you saying we gotta make this big baby like us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I would not get too cocky, Darby. What is he up to? Mad scientist types make no. Really, Gene? Gross. I'm sure can you... Oh! Uh, hello? This is the same quirk. Dare I call them masterpieces? Good timing. I've been looking for you. There's something I want you to duplicate. I notice you've let your hair grow out. It suits you. Your father and the <laughs> others, are they doing well? <gasps> oh. Sure. Oh, I prefer my hello. Remain as till now. You've been getting by on my scraps, my leftovers. It's not that I dislike you. I just have to be cautious. I need to make quite sure that you're worthy of receiving the fruits of my labor. Yeah. Because Don't want so all us go to impressed. someone who 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 doesn't have the capabilities to you know, surpass all for one really. I've been thinking about what happened. Oh damn. No one came. Not a single soul I am to help you here today. for villain absorption, like her. absorbing this villain story. Tenko Shimura by pretending not to see you, who turned the world so upside down that a child oh. must suffer as you have. <laughs> but not anymore. For I am here. For I am I have here. no memory of my life before. And you murdered your loved ones simply by putting your hands on them. Oh man, that is fucked. Oh, not the dog. So then, why shouldn't I destroy it? Why must I suffer it? When this world falls, we'll see the glorious new horizon that awaits. So oh why not God. give me a hand? 
I'll show you the halls of heaven and the depths of hell. Holy shit, that dialogue. You even want to destroy everything I love? There's always room for my comrades' wishes. Live how you want to. Alright! <laughs> <laughs> Toga's just happy. With flying colors. You're a pull to us both. Though, unlike me, he hasn't accepted you as his own. So you need Do to make you sure. My drift? If you can make he... Gigantomachia submit to you, yeah. then everything I have will be yours to you. He needs to make sure that uh, Gigantomachia adores it, becomes a stand up Tamura. Time to work, Johnny. Back to Gigantomachia, these little soldiers go. You called him Johnny? You called. You really oh, called him Johnny? Master. Condition. That we rein in Gigantomachia. He needs to, and in he the needs month and to a half stand. Shigaraki has come no closer to proving the strength of the giant and winning him over. Well, he never said this the would be easy. A full out of <sighs> this so is intense. For a month and a half now, Shigaraki's barely slept a wink. But even as he is pushed to the brink of death, Shigaraki how is still I, smiling. How, as no, as how is he standing is the question. He his eyes. It's like a kid chasing after a dream. It's Giran. Wonder where he's been. What kind I've been of calling Giran and gotten nothing but radio silence. What kind of ringtone is that? Come on. Insurance. That guy cares about me more than anyone ever has. He got me into the lead, you know. A real minch. That turns up in central Fukuoka at the site of Endeavor's. All places where we've been active lately. That's uh -huh. no accident. Who no. The hell are you, huh? I'm the Grand Commander of the Meta Liberation Army. The name's Redestro. Redestro. Now the Liberation Army. Wait, our name like the Yakuza? Give us the broker and we'll get back to you soon. We're busy now. I'll hear about your little revolution club. He's like, let me finish this shit up, when bud. Taking a breather. Why not just hear me out? I'm not oh, going to. So appetizing, my though. Now, because you're not calling foresight to delete his client list before we struck. Not only that, but he didn't so much as wince when we started taking his fingers, nor Jeez. did he give you up. But as for that client list, we were able to recover. And they've just been sending messages. I must praise his resistance, futile though like jokes made in poor taste. I have 116,516 yeah. warriors. That was around the and we benchmark. Wait, ever ready to take action. Then you must make your choice. Will you stand against us and be destroyed, or do nothing and be captured by the heroes? You must decide, Shigaraki. He wants us in Aichi Holy within the shit. hour, and he's tracking our. We've been making in the underworld and dredged up some real darkness. How uh -huh. long do we have until the big baby wakes up? If left undisturbed, he should oh. wake up in two hours and thirty-five minutes, give or take. So they're going to split their resources in terms of okay, we'll deal with him later whilst he's resting. Damn, he's doing two for one. And he'll die, simple as that. We're really doing this? Yeah, we're doing this. That's what I said. Oh, I'm covered. Now I'll recover. And they won't even know what hit him. Jeez. Oh, that was great. That was fun, this My Villain Academia. <laughs> I mean, it's so weird without Deku and all the heroes were focusing on the villains. Um, not just that though, but there, there's an interesting plan going on there with, um, you know what what Shigaraki's you know doing. So with Gigantomachia. So and and not just that though, but with the with the uh, meta uh, li meta liberation army. Yeah. So it's it's a two for one though. It gets them off their backs, but also slims down. Um, yeah. Also slims down Gigantomachia. So, yeah. But yeah, I loved how we got a bit more as well about um Shigaraki's past as well. Um. Unfolding a bit more in regards to what he has done and all of that. So, yeah, I I, I really enjoyed this though. Like, especially because I think because we did get Gigantomachia in in season four. So, um, but you know we we we're, we're getting a bit more in in terms of his 
I guess, utilization with, with the fact that Shigaraki's in a bit of a test. Um, so, yeah, but this was, but I'm guessing this is also a little bit of a prequel because obviously we've gotten a bit of an idea of the Meta Liberation Army. And then, of course, we've, we've still got a, I, I guess we still got a, uh, especially with the proposition in regards to Dakia City. We know what happened there, so. Oi. Um. So. But. Yeah, I just love that though. Like he's like Shigaraki's got everything planned out here. I mean, yeah, sure. It, it, there, there is that possibility of you know I, we've got like 110k on our backs. How we're we gonna deal with that? But you know, this this is a very good education for for Shigaraki being able to use. Giganto Machia, who yeah yeah he's not invincible, but he does carry a lot of he he's a he, he's not invincible, but he is a tank, so they can wear him down if needs be. Um, I mean he's connected to the league because of the fact that he is um all for one's um but he, he's so loyal to to all for one so and uh, I need to prove my worth if if. Because uh, that's it, though. This this was more so uh, about getting him to getting Giganto Machia to realize um, how Shigaraki is is you know all great and all of that, rather than just defeat him and all of that. So yeah, although that is the end goal. So, <sighs> but I just really loved. Uh, yeah, I just really, really, yeah, loved that episode. Just absolutely insane. So, oi, great episode. That was just really great. Um, yeah, I can't believe, though, he went, like, non-stop, like, the, how is, I was questioning how Tomorrow was even fighting, uh, when Spinner was talking about, um, how there's been this never-stopping attitude from, from Tomorrow against, uh, against Giganto Machia, so, um, yeah. I mean, it, it's just insane. Non-stop fighting. Like, hours upon hours, a month and a half he mentioned, yeah. It's just insane, so... Oy, but... Yeah. It was just really, really solid. Um, but yeah, we did get a little bit of an idea in terms of Tomoe's backstory about, you know, and, and, and how he... You know, how troubled he was, and then all for one just, you know, takes him in, of course. Um, but how troubled he was in regards to, um, you know, how he was, how he killed his family and how, yeah, it made him, it was, it was just really, really great to delve into tomorrow's backstory and really engaging. This whole episode was because, um, and, and you know, what's funny is that it felt like a 45 minute episode as well. Because we had everything that was going on in regards to the whole Giganto Machia thing with, uh, you know, the Doctor uh, confronting Tamura and, yeah, um, and then going into Tamura's backstory a bit. Um, so, yeah. And I am really, really uh, intrigued to see where Tamura's story does go and all of that. I'm wondering if this is the arc itself as well for the final, like, bunch of episodes because, you know, I, um, we usually, I, from, from my experience of My Hero Academia, we can delve into three arcs usually, I guess. Um, and with Class A, Class B, that was, you know, clear there. Um, I guess the, you know, uh, agency thing was, you know, Act Two of Season Five because it wasn't just, um, you know, seeing Tamura back ago and uh, Deku in action. Uh, in what was it, Episode Fifteen? I think it was, or around then. Uh, but of course, you know, the last uh, uh, you know, Episode Seventeen and Episodes Eighteen, uh, that was a big focus as well on Todoroki family there. Um, 
and you know this would make sense having the my villain academia arc so yeah but to be fair i did have a feeling those hands were real as well like um in regards to i don't know because i've always thought it was just very terrifying seeing those hands like they they've been dismembered and all of that and you know there you go you got clear affirmation in this episode so um and of course there's that affirmation that they belonged to his family so yeah but you know he was reflecting on his family those he killed and the dog co uh, cropped up and i'm like is there a paw somewhere because jeez um, but yeah, I mean, I, I guess we did get that affirmation that they are indeed real. I didn't expect them, for some reason, even though that they should be decayed, funnily enough, with, you know, Tamura's quirk. Um, but just, you know, how, you know, it's, it's you know, natural, like, what death comes and you decay and all of that. But uh, I, I did feel like those, they that they weren't prosthetics or anything like that. Um, because I've always thought Tomorrow was just, you know, very, very creepy, uh, as a character. Um, so those hands being real would make sense, right? So, but, yeah. I can't get over, though, that the Doctor, though, because I'm just thinking, it's Eggman, because he looks like Eggman. So, then again, I remember, um, um, watching Spirited Away, and there was that, like, um, one character that was giving me Eggman vibes. It's yeah, he he he. But for the Doctor in this one, his his beard is a bit too short. But other than that, he just looks like a rip off from Doctor Eggman. So and he's a Doctor as well. So <laughs> oh man, but yeah, it was just it was just really really powerful stuff. Not just exploring um. You know, Tomorrow's past, how he was unable to control his quirk, and everyone just bypassed him, and an awful one took that as an advantage. But not just that, though. He's like, oh, I can make sure you're able to control things, and, you know, yeah. Because that's it, though. He lost control, and his family paid the price. And, uh, yeah. It was just really, really, it, it is traumatic, really, to peer in further into Tamara's backstory and how All For One was there to, sw to swoop in. So, th these two episodes have been really, really fucked. Like, especially when you've got the hands as well as a reminder to just f further torment the fucking kid. So, th these two episodes have just been showing how all uh, all for one really is the worst not just of uh, cuz obviously the last episode was bloody crude um but you got in the flashbacks oh yeah these are the hands of your dead family by the way so enjoy and, and, and you know he's like what 7 6 whatever so yeah um but, yeah, it was just really, really, uh, you know, really great stuff. So, but it was also great stuff seeing Giganto Machia as well. So, yeah, um, as more as more high end no moves as well, which is just, eesh. um, including that one called Johnny. John, what the f jeez, but, um, yeah, it was like I said, great to see more of Giganto Machia. Um, as well as the fact that he's not on good terms with Shigaraki. He's like, you're the one that's supposed to, you know, be the next big thing. What a joke. Um, so it really does give you that, like, little test. Like, if you really want to, to bypass, you've got to be all for one's bodyguard, essentially, who, you know, is so devoted to him. Um, and not just that, though, but he's also very, very strong. So if you want to, if you want to take him down, then you've really, you, yeah, it, it, it is the ultimate training regime, I would say, because, um, yeah, he he's got to, um, uh, he he's he's got to outshine uh, Gigantomachia, but also make sure that Gigantomachia is like, yep, you're the one, and that's a tough ask, and he's you've got to wear him down and wear him down, and you know, it's it's it's. 
yeah, it, it's this case of it's it's not it's supposed to test you, isn't it? So, yeah. Um, but yeah, and even of course the uh, liberation army thing, of course. Um, yeah, that was like especially with uh, Gira, I think his name. Yeah, how how he was losing fingers and all of that. Yeah, that was just very very. Yeesh. So this episode was just absolutely nuts. So I've talked on for so long. Let's get on to the final episode of my Hero Academia. Uh, well, the final episode of my um, watch this episode. So and then we've got four more episodes left to go. So woo. they were defeated. Members were arrested and the organization was thought to be dissolved. We tried, we failed. In prison before committing suicide. Sheesh. When he left Hoping this world, to Destro spread the message. No that... Approaches! I've been commanded to act as your guide today, so if you want to speak to our esteemed leader, you can follow my lead. A hero? Jeez. Not a well known one. Now he's just happy to be here. There's nobody. He's with our Grand Commander. I'm sure he's being entertained. Didn't you say you'd give me back if we came? Greasy bastard! Oh. Yeah. They a mini the, boss. The, a mini oh, boss. Shigaraki! He's like, this is a side mission for me. Towers ...that made them viable opponents. A league of villains that can't use Nomu is nothing more than a social club. Oh, wow. Yeah. Big talk there. Oh, my God. What's his... Damage. Bear your soul to me now. The public's interest in the league is one thing, but you're a different headline. The schoolgirl with a mind full of violence. It's a catchy tag, don't you think? My blood's pumping like my first day on the field. Oh my god. <laughs> she was done. She was done with your shit. What happens when you monologue? <laughs> Which is ironic. Possess instincts and talent that the average murderer doesn't have. The audience will want to know how you fell into this slasher life. Shh. She is so upset. Oh. Oh, damn. Exploded. All you have to do is tell me how you went insane. They threw away my oh. normal life? What is uh -oh. that? What is normal? Get her. Get her, Toga. She had the most repulsive look of bliss on her face. Very vampiric. Oh my god. We're so terribly sorry. We did oh. our best, but we obviously failed. That child is a demon. Do you know who is to blame? This world. What you felt was completely natural. You were And you were in wrong. Her, but society couldn't comprehend that. Yeah. They, they, it's they thought you fault. were a the freak, etc. Curious Flattener! There's no difference between your normal and the Liberation Army's goal. They're yeah, this is a great way to try to grade their the ideals into her. Ideals. Your life will be written about in our modern day holy book Sheesh. as a shining example of that truth. <laughs> Is twice gonna save her or something? Oh, damn! Well, she's grown, so. Yeah, she grew. Oh my god, that is insane! This will be my greatest feature. Yeah, but it might not, because you might not get to write it. The things we hate should be destroyed. Right, Tomura? Yeah, she's starting to realize, like, she's starting to, like... I mean, I can't blame you. Now I feel sick. Oh, he's going to... Oh, oh, wait, was that? Oh, shit. Rocky. Oh, you... fuck. If our leader's sparing their lives, then I'll have some fun, too. Never been good at <laughs> not 
<laughs> yeah, he's he, he he's I had enough. Ogre ran ahead and is missing. Was twice. He was here a yeah, second Where ago. is twice? No way. It's oh, true. is he going to? You ran off somewhere alone, and I was worried. Totally calm. Damn yeah, it. totally calm. What make the league a place we want to be? Oh. You're the only one who needed this failed human being. Damn it! I'll kill them. Oh shit! Twice, Twice is... has found Toga. Oh They're boy! In the storage shed at Ikeda's. The girl is still alive. Oh, we can bring him back. Oh we will my! Not repeat the tragedy of Destro. So now are you They will be liberated. Such great power. It's time that you begin to understand your own worth. I will persuade you to join the Liberation Army. Holy shit! And, you know, this is kind of tying into, like... Because I, I, I think we did see twice there as well, so... Sheesh. It's kind of messed up, isn't it? Like, especially with all those faces... Like, it's giving him that... Uh, reminiscence, isn't it? Of, um, how... Because we did have that backstory with twice, and we once upon a time ago, so... Yeah, and um, it, it, it's going to give him that reminiscence, isn't it? So, how he's able to 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 see what, uh, how he's able to see, like, multiple entities of um, skeptics' work that look like himself. So, it's just going to give you that um, trauma, really. So, oy. but that was just really really insane stuff like seeing the liberation army take on the league things just yeah things just absolutely going to hell especially for toga like you've had curious um trying to drill into toga about okay so why are you like this um and not just that though but like talking about you know how it must have felt to be suppressed and, you know, of course, drilling further into uh, their ideals about how liberated they are and, and how, um, you know, that would benefit Toga, really, because the world shunned her and all of that. So her parents, she was all alone. Foy. But. And now you've got that really insane moment with Toga as well, where um, she has um, leveled up. So that's where, where um, she's able to use uh, quirks seemingly. So, which is kind of giving you a little bit of reminiscence to Monomo, where he was able to copy quirks and all of that. But this is a bit more powerful because not only can she take the the visage of a, of a person, of course, but yeah, still really insane, still really insane stuff. But damn, Whew. but yeah, really, really great stuff. So. Yeah, I re really did like that opening as well, because obviously last episode we kind of got a bit of a memo about the meta-human uh, meta liberation, but we got a, an opener from Deku about how, you know, they, they uh, you know, wanted this ideal. They tried to, you know, deal with the government and they came up short, so... Um, and, you know, how they're just so pro-liberation in terms of their quirks versus the suppression... And how they saw the society that we have right now as uh, as something that needs to be taken down. So uh, doesn't doesn't necessarily mean that it's all sunshine and rainbows. But that's that's their ideals. They feel like they need to be they need to be done with the suppression that this world keeps a hold of. So yeah, but 
Yeah, things just really... I mean, it was just so fascinating seeing... I mean, when you've got a lot of numbers on the opposition side, it can be very, very... T- especially with the fact for, for tomorrow, which we we did see as well, which we'll get onto in a moment. Uh, yeah, he's been fighting endlessly, so... But, um, yeah, Toga was just uh, in the thick of it for the mo- majority of this episode, so... But we did get to see um, Toga uh, manifest, really, in terms of... Uh, her quirk, so... Yeah. But... It was just really, really, uh, you know, <laughs> great stuff this episode. Like, like, especially the whole my hero- my villain arc, should I say. It's just really, really, um, lovely stuff to see, so... Um... But yeah, it's. I mean, that split between to- Toga and Uraraka was just really, really uh, great stuff as well. So, yeah. But yeah, we we are seeing some, um, just insane things like with Shigaraki because, um, he like especially with the fact that he's exhausted. Of course, he's gonna be very delirious. Um, but. You were just thinking about what happened in Dakia City as well. Um, and his power is just growing, so... And now he's able to to uh, further his decay. Um, on no... Yeah, so... He didn't even have to get up close to touching bodies. He just decayed shit, like... From a distance. He was all alone. So... Yeah, it is just really great to see, not not just a, a full focus on you know the villain side of things. Oh, like oh, what's the villains doing? And um, you know, at at the minute, it it is great to see how things are evolving uh, for for certain members, uh, for Toga, for 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 Tomura. Um, and it's gonna be very very ominous isn't it because it's got yeah all all, uh, shit is gonna hit the fan so oh man but yeah i really really loved exploring uh this um so yeah but i do feel like we're gonna also uh, pry into a bit more about shit because he's obviously the main star of i guess the leak really so we're gonna pro- and we had a little bit more in terms of um his memory as well um when he was getting a bit more powerful so i'm feeling like we're gonna pry further into shigaraki's story which is gonna be really really amazing stuff so yeah but yeah it's just going to be very, very uh, fascinating to see how this whole thing uh, goes down. So, yeah, but yeah, I'm I'm excited to see how things are going to go with um the rest of this season. So awesome episode this, and uh, yeah, man, but. Yeah, the the it, it is just very scary as well with tomorrow. The way that he can just not just disintegrate, you know, one singular person, but many. Not even having to be right up close. Yeah, it's just it's just a very very. Uh, it's just a very very scary thought of things to come. So, yeah, but great on I guess Toga and uh, Shigaraki to evolve their quirks. So, yay! I mean. If you're rooting for the villains, yay, but, um, oi, but, yeah, it was just, it was just really, really, uh, great stuff this episode, so I really am loving, uh, the, the whole, um, focus on, on the league, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, awesome episode. Awesome free episodes, I will say. So I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction or these reactions. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I'll see you guys next time.